Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for both the dev and the beta channels, another preview build for version 25H2, and the first preview build in the year 2026. So in this video, we are talking about the build 26220.7535. As I've said, another preview build for 25H2. In this video, we're gonna cover everything that there is to this new build. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activate it so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, Microsoft is reminding us that we still have a window if we want to switch from the dev channel to the beta channel. So if you are enrolled in the Windows Insider program in the dev channel where this build is, you can switch to the beta channel still, but this window will soon close. So pay attention to that. If you want to switch from the dev channel to the beta channel, make sure you switch as soon as possible. So what will basically happen? The dev channel will move forward to a higher build number, most likely the platform base for this year's annual release, which will be 26H2. So of course, keep that in mind if you want to switch to the beta channel from the dev channel. Now talking about new things that are added in this build, first of all, Microsoft is bringing Copilot powered image descriptions to Narrator. Basically, this was something that was introduced by Microsoft or Copilot Plus PCs last year, but now Microsoft will introduce this to all Windows 11 devices. And if you want to see more info about this, you can check out the article below in the video's description or Microsoft's official blog post. Microsoft is also adding a new way to uninstall Microsoft Copilot app and manage devices. So basically, they are adding a new group policy that you can edit to uninstall Microsoft Copilot and Microsoft is stating that admins can now uninstall Microsoft Copilot for a user in a targeted way by enabling a new policy titled Remove Microsoft Copilot app. So basically, you can find this under User Configuration, Administrative Templates, then All Settings or Windows AI depending on what you have here. And in the right side, if you scroll down, you're going to have this new policy, which is called Remove Microsoft Copilot App. Let's double click on it. You're going to see that there's also a catch to this. So basically, Microsoft is stating here that this policy allows you to uninstall Microsoft Copilot for users in a targeted way, but it will apply to devices or users that meet the conditions below. You need to have Microsoft 365 Copilot and Microsoft Copilot both installed. The Microsoft Copilot app was not installed by the user, and also the Microsoft Copilot app was not launched in the last 14 days. So this is the only way this will work or this policy will work if you meet this requirements as a user. You can enable it and then click on OK so that you're able to uninstall these apps for a user in a targeted way. Related to developers, Microsoft is sharing an enhancement to the cross device resume capability that they introduced earlier and they are now introducing an additional integration path leveraging the Windows notification system and this additional option expands the scope of users to whom you can offer for resume capability while delivering the same experience on Windows 11. More info about this on Microsoft's official blog post. Also related to Windows Spotlight, Microsoft is updating the icon for Windows Spotlight and you're going to be able to see the new icon on the screen here. It looks pretty good and I think it matches the Windows 11 design better than the old one. Talking about fixes in this build related to the start menu, Microsoft fixed an issue where the edge of the warning dialog showed when shutting down your PC while other users will still signed in was truncated by the edge of the start menu. Related to the File Explorer, Microsoft fixed an issue which was causing Explorer.exe to crash for some insiders when invoking the context menu on the desktop recently. Related to input, they fixed an issue which could lead to a black flash when using a pen to ink in snipping tool. Related to print, they fixed an issue which could lead to two print dialogs appearing when you opened print instead of just one. Fixed the color of the close button so that the print dialog would be consistent with other windows. And they also fixed an issue where the text on the printers and scanners page and settings could become truncated and unreadable. Related to Windows Update inside this build, Microsoft fixed an issue which could lead to the Windows Update settings page hanging when loading. That was fixed. And related to new known issues, we have one new known issue related to the settings app that is causing settings to crash when interacting with audio devices. So that is pretty weird, but should be fixed in a future build. So this is basically the build of for this week on the dev and also on the beta channels. Not for long though, we're gonna have different builds on the beta and on the dev channels pretty soon. So that is great news. This was the first Windows Insider preview build from the year 2026, so hopefully many more to come. Of course, let me know below in the comments what's your favorite thing about this new build. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Zumania from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.